Hello Balloon World! I'm your balloon twister Michael Floyd and today I want to teach you how to make a two balloon triceratops. This is another one in our line of dinosaurs. This is a fun one because lots of little kids like triceratops and it's pretty easy to make but it does use some interesting techniques. So let me walk you through how to make it. You'll need two 260s of the color of your choosing. I'll be using orange. Get your first 260 and inflate it halfway. You're going to want to tie it as close to the knot as you can. There we go. Now we also have to inflate our second balloon at the same time. Also inflated about halfway. Tying the knot as close up as I can. There we go. Now comes for a fun little technique. To make the horn of our triceratops, we're going to push the air from the end back into the balloon, giving us a small uninflated section. You're going to want to pinch it to make sure it doesn't reinflate. Then twist a small bubble so you have a little pointy looking horn. We're going to need two of these, so do it with both. I like to hold it in between two fingers. Sometimes I'll put it in between my pinky and my ring finger so it won't come undone so I can work on the next balloon. You're going to want them to be roughly the same size. Once they are, you're going to want to twist them together. And make sure you go one under the inflated sections, that way they won't come undone. And there we have our horns for our triceratops. And here we have our horns. The next step is to make the neck of the triceratops. We're going to make two small bubbles. You know, about half an inch big. Then we're going to twist the two ends together. If they come undone, twist them back together. Now these should be about the same length. You should have the same amount of uninflated tail. They should be roughly about the same length. So it doesn't matter which one you choose now because you've done pretty much the same with both and they're inflated about the same. So just choose one. Give it a gentle squeeze so it's soft and make a small flower petal. The flower petal should be just big enough to fit one of these guys into the middle of it. So about that big. And it should be pretty soft because we're going to have to push something up in there in a little second. So now because we made a flower petal out of one of them, you'll notice that it's shorter than the other. So use the other one to make the front legs. For the front legs, we're going to choose, we're going to twist a two inch section, then three one inch bubbles, then another two inch section. So these two pieces here should be the same length and the three in the middle should be the same length. Now we're going to twist this part here where the leg connects to the flower petal with the leg here that connects to the end of the piece we're working with. Oop. And if they come undone. Just retwist them. I'm not twisting them enough, that's why they're coming undone. Each time you make a string of bubbles like this, you should really twist them four or five times, maybe even seven, to make sure they don't come undone. So twist this section here into this section here. And there we have our front legs. Now they should these two sections here should be roughly about the same length. You can see one sort of edging out a little bit. So I'm going to give them both a gentle squeeze. I'm going to twist a section for the length of the body. Now it's up to you how long of a body you want your triceratops to be. They're sort of short, long, fat creatures, sort of like the dinosaur's version of the pig. At least that's what I always thought. So I'm going to make it about three inches long. I'm going to twist a section right about there. Same size on the other one. And I'm going to twist these two pieces here together. Now these two here should be the same length, but this one's starting to get a little bit longer on me. So I'm going to use this one here to make the hind legs. 
the hind legs are made just like the front legs are. You're going to want to make two sections, three bubbles. So a two inch section, three bubbles, another two inch section. Okay, there we have our hind legs. Now I'm going to take this moment to pinch twist the feet. To pinch twist, you're going to take the end here, you're going to pull it out. By pinching and pulling and then twisting, you can get the two sides of that bubble to twist together. And there you have your feet pinch twist. Now you can see they can lay any kind of way, but what I like to do is I like to adjust them like so. That way they lay nice and flat along the ground. This means when you put it on a table, it can sit flat. And from this angle here, it looks like it's a flat foot like that of, a, of an elephant or a stegosaurus or a triceratops. So pinch twist the behind legs also and adjust them. And there we have the legs that are done. Now we have two sections here. We have a little piece here and we have a longer piece here. One's going to come down to be the tail, get tied off and be cut. The other one's going to work its way back up to the front to be the head and the nose horn of the Triceratops. It's up to you which one you want to use. This one, since it has more slack, it's going to be a lot easier to make a horn out of it. But that means this one here, I'm either going to have a little stumpy tail, or I'm going to have to cut that, blow air into it, tie it, and then shape the tail to get the tail I want. So I'm going to try to go with this one because this is already the length of the tail I want. So I'm going to switch these over. This is going to be the tail. I'm going to try to work this one back up to be the front. Let's see if it works for us. Go ahead and twist a small bubble, maybe about an inch to two inches, depending on how much slack you have here. I'm going to twist this here where the flower petal is. Now you'll notice that by twisting a smaller bubble down here than it is on the top, it causes the top bubbles to curve down. By making the top bubbles curve down, it gives the body a hunched forward kind of feel to it. And I've always thought that the Triceratops looked like it had bad posture. So it's my interpretation. Okay. Now we have to get this bubble here where the horns are at. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to give it a gentle squeeze, and I'm going to pull some slack out there. You can see the slack there that I'm pulling just a little bit because I don't want an inflated section going along the neck. I just want enough of a balloon to pull it up there. And now you see I've gotten this section here to where the horns are. I have a little bit of uninflated section left. Now all I need to do is work in one pinch twist in there. So. I'm going to twist the length of my head about that much. I have this little tiny bubble here, and all I got to do is twist a very small little bubble and then pinch twist that small little bubble. And then I'm going to push all the air back down to try to give me as much of a point for that horn as I can. And I'm going to adjust the head so all the horns are on the top side. There we go. And there we have our head. Now this is the like, what do they call it? The collar of the Triceratops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these bubbles. I'm going to stick it here in between that opening. Gently. I open it up and I work one of those bubbles in there. There we go. Adjust the head again. There we go. This is looking pretty good. All right. So we have our little tiny nose horn. If you have more uninflated slack, it'll be a bigger front horn. We got our top horns. We got our collar. We got our legs. We got our chubby little hunched forward, bad postured triceratops body. Now we have this section here to make the tail from. What I like to do is I'll twist a small bubble and pinch twist it. And by pinch twisting that there, it'll push these legs down and forward a little bit, but it'll also keep sure 
that this tail goes straight back instead of up at an angle. I'm going to give this a nice squeeze so that I can fold it over. I like to make this S shape. You can sort of see it there. And then what I'll do is I'll massage it a little bit. Particularly where it's bent. You can see the bend here. So by massaging that, it'll stay. Then I'll squeeze some air back into it gently. And then wherever it comes to rest, I'll tie it there. And then that's where I cut it off. Just right there. Okay. And there we have our two balloon triceratops. Ain't that cool. Now we just have to do the art. Now the art for the triceratops is pretty easy. Because it already has a nose and a mouth, it pretty much just needs eyes. I keep my art really simple because I'm not that good at drawing. I do a circle, dot, and an eyebrow. And then the other side, a circle, and an eyebrow. And if it's a female triceratops, I'll add eyelashes coming off the eyebrow. And our two balloon triceratops is done. Can you believe we got all that out of two balloons? I mean, we got three horns, we got a head collar, we got a whole body and tail. I mean, that's a lot out of two balloons. It's a fun design. It's a little tricky. With practice, you should be able to accomplish this one in two, maybe three minutes. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. For more balloon twisting instructions, please go to balloon-animals.com.